Today we're hosting the first ever Code House Conversations right here at Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia. My name is Ernest Holmes. I am president and co-founder of Code House, a 2019 graduate of Morehouse College and currently a professor in the computer science department of Morehouse College, also a software engineer at Google. Now, for our first ever Code House conversation, I would love to welcome to the stage Susan Wojcicki, the CEO of YouTube. I love it. I love it. Well, I want to get right into things. Thanks so much for joining us today. My first question for you, I want to hear from your perspective, what was your journey into the tech industry? Take me all the way to growing up, what first you got into engineering, computer <laughs> science, and tech, all the way to whatever happened in the garage and the founding of Google to become the CEO. Well, so when I was a kid, I was always really interested in, in um, being creative. And if you had seen me as a kid, I was always focused on making things, art projects. I probably thought I would be some kind of artist. And what happened to me along the way was I discovered that computer science was really creative and it was an opportunity to be able to make and build things. And the way I discovered it was just completely accidental, which is that I used to do temp work during the summers where I would come home from college and they would just send me to any kind of company to like file or answer the door, answer the phone. And so I used to work at all kinds of different offices. And once I was sent to a tech company, and uh, it was a little startup and I realized that this was really, there was, they, they were onto something here. So I wound up taking computer science for computer science majors. And it was interesting because at the time I thought that I, it, I was too old. I thought I'm a, it must be too late for me. Um, I'm already a senior. I was a history and literature major. There's no way I can be learning computer science. Um, but clearly um, it's never too late. I came back and I started working in technology um, in all kinds of different jobs. You know, I, I definitely wanna actually break down a little bit more because you took a risk. You took a risk to go join a startup at a time where I'm sure a lot of your classmates were going to great jobs on Wall Street maybe or some other fields. Can we talk about your emotions and just uh, what was the feeling of taking that risk, that leap to go joined the startup called Google or even the startup that you joined beforehand that got you interested in computer science? For me, it didn't seem that risky to go back to a small company, which at the time was Google, which was extremely small when I joined. When they first started, we, they they were started working out of our house, which we were renting. We were looking actually for renters to pay the mortgage. So I was first the landlord for Google. And then uh, about six or nine months later, I joined actually as an employee and went through the interview process and everything like everybody else um, and have just really loved and enjoyed how creative technology is, opportunity to reach so many people. I have enjoyed how innovative it is, the opportunity to be on the leading edge of change. And I do think the fact that technology is growing so quickly, it means it's a great career. It's a great place to be. Um, and when I joined and started working in the internet, like nobody were, had worked in the internet, really nobody had experience in technology. And so I see that there is this opportunity now with new technologies and new ways that the world is changing that you can very quickly become an expert in that um, and that can take you to some really interesting places. And Google early on also had this mission to it, which is to organize the world's information to make it universally accessible and useful. And uh, that was a big mission. And there were, you know, sitting there with 15 other people in the room and we were all I don't think anyone was over 30 and somehow we had this big mission and it seemed crazy, but it also was exciting. YouTube impacts billions of people on a daily basis. So I can only imagine how rewarding it feels to be the CEO. Um, these students hear all the time about my day to day of being a software engineer at Google. We will love and I personally will love to hear what your day today looks like. Morning, tonight, like what do you actually do as a CEO? So as CEO, you know, you have many responsibilities. First, ultimately, everything at some level is your responsibility. So if there's a big mistake, you know, ultimately that's your fault. Um, but if there's good upside, then I guess, you know, you get some credit for it too. But so that, that makes it challenging. Like my goal would be that everyone at YouTube generally understands what are the key areas that we're working on? What are the key priorities? How does it all fit together? Um, how is the landscape changing? And how do you respond to that? So at some level, it's my job to acknowledge when there's a problem, find the problem and fix the problem before anybody else notices that there's a problem. 
Susan, I could ask yeah. you questions for yeah. days. Um, but of course, we have some eager students here that are ready to ask you some questions. So I'm going to turn the mic over to one of our first students, Marcus Beeson, who is one of our scholars in Codehouse. My name is Marcus Beeson, a freshman computer science major at Morehouse College. I'm also a Codehouse scholar. My question to you is, uh, what is your biggest attribution and what do you believe is the, the impact for, that com for the company of YouTube? So I'd say my biggest attribution has been being able to identify areas early on, um, work hard to come up with a plan and to execute on them so they can be successful. And, um, and that, requires, that requires a lot of different things. It requires like being able to see it, being able to articulate a vision, get people to, to, to join you on that vision um, when no one else really believes it and to you know, also take, continue to grow it as it gets bigger. My name is Azola Martin, a freshman computer science major here at Morehouse College, also a cold, a cold house scholar. And my question for you today is, what are your biggest struggles or challenges that you face as being the CEO of YouTube? One of the hardest parts about it is the fact that there's so many different parts of YouTube, right? There are um, what our creators are doing, um, how they operate globally, our users, the features, um, what we're doing, um, in many different fields, um, music, gaming, um, like for, for all of the creators in so many different fields, like edutubers, how we're continuing to support all of them and really making sure that YouTube is the most dynamic and compelling place, um, no matter what kind of creator you are that you wanna come and continue to be at YouTube despite a very competitive environment. My name is Whitley Waltz and I'm a first year computer science major, art minor from Spelman College. My question for you is, how do you see YouTube's algorithm making both a positive and negative impact on people of color? YouTube is really an important platform in the sense that if you compare it to how traditional media worked, which is that there basically are no gatekeepers. So anyone can upload content, anyone can have a business on YouTube. And that has enabled people of all different backgrounds to be able to do content that we probably never would have seen on traditional media. Um, people focus on specific topics or people of different backgrounds um, across the board, um, being able to have their channels and being able to, to build a business on YouTube. So first, just the fact that YouTube enables anyone to do it, I believe has made a huge difference it, within many underrepresented groups in media. People want to come and they want to see people who are like them. They want to hear different voices. They don't just want to see the same thing. And so having that diversity on YouTube is really what makes YouTube special. So we're very focused on making sure we have a diverse set of creators uh, and content for people to, to see and explore. And with that, I actually have uh, an announcement for you too, Ernest, which is that we are very excited um, with all the work that you're doing. And it's been so impressive to see how you've started this organization and um, been an entrepreneur and, and made a difference. And so on behalf of Google, I just wanna say that google.org wants to make a million dollar donation to Code House. And That's amazing. Susan, again, thank you so much for everything. If you ever want to come to Atlanta, you got family here now. So let us know next time you're in, in the A. Best of luck to all of you. Tech's a great field, lots of opportunity. I encourage you to continue with your studies. And uh, I look forward to connecting in the future. Talk to you soon, Susan. Thank you again.